I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over Welcome back to my channel and uh, for those of you who are just you know visiting my channel for the first time you're welcome my name is Ololade I am a mother and also a wife I live in Canada I talk about my relocation to Canada I talk about life and you know anything that can benefit the you know humankind so today I want to talk about how we got our PR in Nigeria and how you know we relocated to Canada so it the journey started back in 2018 and i can remember before that time my husband wasn't like you know he wasn't interested in moving from nigeria to another country because um he has been in the u.s for like over 10 years or more but i don't know he wasn't sure he wasn't interested in moving out but it was like you know we can go for vacation we can just travel out of the country to have nice time with the family and all so on, on this particular day, he came back home and he was like, you know, we need to start the Canada thing. And, you know, I was like, why? He said, you know, he doesn't want a situation that later in the future, the children will be asking that, daddy, why did you apply when the Canada immigration was on, when other were applying, what were you doing? So we started the whole journey by sending in our WIC results and... I think the white TNG is not a requirement now, but as at that time it was. So we went to Yaba, we sent in um, the white, we sent in our transcript to the West for evaluation, and after that we registered for the high health. My husband passed his own once while I did my twice. And I can remember when I did the first one, <laughs> on my way to the venue, I was vomiting and the driver that was taking me was like madam i don't know how important this place you are going no but i think your health first i just i replied myself just take me to where i am going okay just take me let me they know where they go so i went for the exam i did it and i didn't really score like one of it I, I got a very low score and it wasn't helping our crs so i we registered again for the second one and when i was ready when my husband was trying to like register the second one for me i told him that see this would be the last one if i didn't get if i'm unable to like get the required this thing please just go and apply i know that when you get to canada you know how to like bring your wife it wasn't really cool he wasn't accepting that because he's this kind of person that see if i am going somewhere we are going together like if you are not going i am not going so i did it and it was okay and we applied for so we did so after i did the second uh, test it was okay but we our score was still not up to the crs you know to the i don't know let me say the maximum crs calls or the minimum at that time or the average anyone <laughs> so we we're thinking of how to like boost our crs score and the only option was to like um start training for the french test and i wasn't even in for that and my husband was not even interested in taking the french test so we were just there and we went you know we were thinking of how to like boost our score if there is any of that route so i i shall forced my husband like i didn't force let me say i persuaded him to like be in the pool like you shouldn't wait till when we'll be able to like get up to that score because we don't know this score might come down and we don't know what's gonna you know i just say just being in the pool it's not taking anything from you just being in the pool and it was in the pool while we were thinking of how to boost our scores although it didn't have my details because my score my high health score was bringing his score down so i had i had things like remove me from his score i'm sorry if you're hearing anything it's my son my son is there i'm so sorry so we so after that sham after being in the pool and i say came and we were not picked because we were not up to this call and so what else what else what else what else so, <laughs> so i was not really happy and after a few days um my husband came to my room one night i was about to sleep and he was dancing Ah, in my mind, I was just like, why, why was it, you know, <laughs> that's unusual, but I didn't really pay attention because I was not really in the mood, so 
I just slept off. And the following morning, I went to him and I asked that why was he dancing, and he danced the dance again. I said, this David's dance, like I really want to know the the reason behind it, and he showed me the the uh, the email that he got from Ontario for the PMP, the notification of interest. And seriously, like we didn't even know what PMP is, like because we don't we've not had anyone around us you know we've not seen anyone around us that have done something like that and although i think i've seen in some of the groups that i joined some people were talking about pmp but i wasn't really paying attention to it and <clears throat> you know we shout because you know the notification of interest came with instructions how to go about it things to submit and all so my husband gathered all the documents and it's submitted and the the pmp thing is that after checking your documents your applications evaluations and all those things if you are if you meet up to the you know requirements and all you would be given like um 600 points to your CRS score you know 600 points it's lots so we submitted and it took about like two months for it took two months for us to like you know we didn't get oh my god what did I say? like it took two months for us to hear back from Ontario and after the two months we got my husband got the 600 points and oh let me tell you we did the application by ourselves like we didn't even use um we didn't use the uh, agent or anything my husband did the whole thing like the application and also we didn't even pay like extra money to any agent to do the whole thing we, we did it it's straightforward so it's something that you also can do if you go to the online web the canada website read about it it's simple and straightforward the instructions are there you join groups people will direct you on how to do it so my husband got the 600 points and his score boosted up to like over 1000 and with that he was able to like add me to the application and all and i'm so sorry that's my son <laughs> so i think my son wants to meet you you people <laughs> this one that is trying to like to distract me from telling you these stories so after the whole thing he added me and we we're waiting for rta again and to god be the glory we were picked we got the invitation to apply to canada and we started our whole application and i won't lie it took us two years because our file you know got to one of the bills the almighty bills which i don't want to like mention the name of the bill and aside that the um covid also you know delayed the whole process and all it affected the whole process because there most of the bills were locked you know there, there were many backlogs and so many things that happened and we, we were just hope we were hoping for you know God to intervene and 2020 after so many things we've done remedica we've done so many things I was even I was pregnant again because the first time that I did the high health I didn't say like that time that I was going to the example that I was vomiting I was pregnant that time I was pregnant <laughs> so this, so I was already pregnant and we got the, I think it was 2020 that we got, since 2018, it was 2020 that we got the, that was, it was even December, that was when we received our COPR and you know, like I said, I was pregnant at that time and we couldn't travel because I was already heavy and the only thing was for us to just wait for the baby to come out and then we'll add the baby to the application at all. And when the baby came out, we started the baby's process, getting passports for him. And you all, you all know what happened, like what is happening right now, getting passports in Nigeria. And well, we shall thank God we were able to get passports for him. You know, I used to like cut some stories out so that um, I don't want this video to be too long. So we shall got the I started applying for him so we added him to the application and we waited for the his own second PPR to come and then we sent him our passports and we I think we received everything back maybe like April or so and we couldn't travel because you know, Canada was on lockdown and we were waiting. Our house rent was almost expiring and you know 
and we were not even ready to like pay another huge money again so we shall wait and wait and wait till june i think it was like ending of june that canada opened the border for well COPR holders and we were able to like move and we got to canada that was 2021 and well let me just end this story like you know don't give up because even when we've lost hope like you know when our crs cost was very low and god just showed up for us like we were not even expecting we don't even know what pmp is we were not even expecting it and they came they said okay my husband you know met the requirements because they were looking for maybe like accountants or so and that's my husband's um profession i you know and they asked him to apply he applied submitted all the documents the requirements and all like we didn't give up you know even while we were still trying to like look for how to like boost our crs calls you know we don't even when as god was just there for us so i don't even want you to like give up just try your best you don't know you don't know what might happen just put in all your best so thank you for taking your time you know i really appreciate you taking your time to like watch this story like i am grateful but i just want you to like subscribe because next i will be bringing stories about i will talk about no not sorry so okay i will it's a story how i got my first job in canada like within two weeks that i landed but you know i am going to talk about that i'll talk about you know how to get a job and all and so many things like to talk show you around canada and all and i don't want you to miss out of this so can you please subscribe to my channel i really love you please subscribe i am big <laughs> all right have a wonderful day bye bye